the barren desert, there is a nest of newborn stone weasels. Their mother is out fighting a venomous scorpion, which throws out its long tail stinger and explodes on it like a face popping bug. But it hadn't counted on the fact that stone weasels are immune to venom, and the great mother quickly swung back the other way, hiding the scorpion's tail and dragging to complete the combat. He shouted to the sky, who was the true queen of this world. However, in a flash, it's out his son, Jerry, a little guy who was just born just a month ago, attracted by the sounds outside. He sneaks out, but it will be greeted by all sorts of terrifying creatures of the desert. A rattlesnake pokes his head out and spits out an O-ouncing tongue. He sneaks up behind Jerry, and when he's not looking, leaps up out of the darkness, ready to strike. Jerry has inherited Spider-Man's sixth sense, and in the nick of time, he flashes, running fast. The rattlesnake fails, but Jerry is terrified. It hides under a dry riverbank, but doesn't realize that it's suddenly raining heavily. It's hard to find a small hole when it struggles to rub the moisture off of its butt, as his fur is soaking wet, that it will soon lose heat and freeze to death in the area. Jerry carefully tended to himself, rubbing his ears and rubbing his belt, and finally his fur became dry and fluffy. But the heavy rain also brought a flood, and it was almost washed away, running left and right up to the high ground. However, the rain brushed away all the smell of the ground, and Jerry got lost and couldn't find his way back. All they could do was take shelter in a rocky crevice from the 60 degree afternoon heat. But by day, the desert is like Jurassic Park, with the gods of death hovering in the sky and desert hunting lizards lurking underground. This is a Harris's home, which can't easily stand on a giant cactus and see all its prey for a hundred miles. It sees Jerry and swoops in with his companions in a flock. 